and I colored it in color with airbrush back in New York City. Alright, anyways. So let's see here. So this right here, this was part of the story called Book of Pazzo. This is the preacher or priest or whatever. And he's actually, I did it, I did it based on uh, Jeff Carrillo, the guy who uh, owns the water company, um, Starfire Water. And then uh, here's Derek Young, just talked to him earlier today. He's in Arizona, Arizona, fell in love. Fell in love in Arizona. Rich Brian, give them the 88 touch. Now I see right here, this is the detail I had put about the secret of uh, the coronavirus sticking, poking lying all that so we got um the lady with the corona mask on with the needle and she's saying i'm about to get ready to poke someone below her we got the flowers from when i went to the church uh st petersburg church or whatever church i can't remember what church it was on easter right below the corona bitch and then um after that we got other stuff other details more than just that way more than just that we have um some different uh uh chakra stuff even my uh thumb print uh we got a lot of stuff a lot of details a lot of secret details Then we got my brother and the girl he was with. Yep. Then we got James Hogan. James Hogan. My friend James Hogan. He's, um, he's, uh, what was it? What was it? This is how I met him. Um, he had a Facebook group called uh, I Am Your Agent. <laughs> so, yeah. Good guy. This is, this is from when he came over to my apartment and uh, I did a painting of the sun in my room. And uh, he was sitting right in front of it. Did a nice photograph of him. Got a video of him talking about the I am. <laughs> He's a good guy. He actually, you know what, you know what my friend uh, James Hogan told me? He said, if I come to Florida, I could paint on tons of walls at some place that he has. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go back to America for a long time. Long time. But that was nice. That was nice because uh, I like I like painting murals. I love painting murals. When I was in uh, Lao, which for some reason people hate on Lao, which I don't understand why. Um, I painted a big, 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 big mural at a hostel of a dragon. End of the Mekong River. And uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was really good. Yeah. And now we have um, Daryl Gott. He just came out with a new album in October called Aperture. You can even see it on uh, Spotify. 
Yep, he used to be vegan. He's no more, he's no longer vegan. But I, I try to be vegan still. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know. I like being vegan. Anyways, what else we got? More details. Way more details. Psst, way more. What else we got here? We got my friend uh, Oreo Cabellus. Oreo Cabellus, huh? Oreo Cabellus makes uh, two, three thousand dollars every day selling his art. Union Square, Washington Square Park, uh, New Jersey. Even, um, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Uh, trying to remember what her name is. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Something Keys. Um, Felicia Keys. No, um, what's her name again? Um, Selena Keys. No, no, no. What's her name again? Um, oh, yeah. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys and her husband. I uh, can't remember his name again, but they actually had... They actually had um, Oriole to come out to their state for um, some sort of event because they felt bad about what happened to him when... He was mistreated by the Washington Square Park police. He was, uh, he was, uh, he was, um, uh, hurt by them. I don't know what he did, but there was a video of it, and he's just an artist. He just does his art, and, you know, and he was mistreated. People love him at uh people love him at uh in New York City. People love Oreo Cabellas. Anyway, so that's one de that's another detail. What else should I talk about? We got um What's his name? Um Colin Stranahan. <laughs> Colin Stranahan, amazing drummer. Went to my, uh, went to my, um, my school. He, uh, he was one of the only people out of like thousand people or something that had got into this school. The, um, what was it called again? Um, what was it called again? Uh, the, oh, David Brubeck. David Brubeck School. Not many people get into that school, but they but um, Colin Stranahan got into it. Congratulations to him, right? Good for good for Colin Stranahan. He loves to drum. Good for him. Very good, very good. Put him there. Who else? Um. Well, we have to talk about this one. You guys want to play games with me? I'm friends with Clockwork Crosby. I put him in there too. Clockwork Crosby does uh, portraits of all kinds of people. And he puts uh, plastic uh, uh, lamination over their face and he puts the clock ticking on their face too he sells his clocks for about a hundred dollars each uh, I think recently I seen a picture of uh, see, I seen I seen a picture of uh, Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson was happy because uh, because uh, Clockwork Crosby had done a uh, clock, a clock about him, and uh, that was pretty cool, right? Mike Tyson liked the clock my friend Crosby did. I drew him on my pick.
What else? We got Federico Moelis. He ended up getting a grant for like $250,000 for, uh, for a project he did at an architect school in um, New Mexico. Um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I actually worked on that project too in Times Square, New York. Assembling pixels. Humongous pixels. <laughs> Five layer pixels. <laughs> Each pixel is like about the size of that uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop Go box. That's how big the, the pixels are. There's like 200, 300, I don't know, 1200. I don't remember how many pixels there was, but you can look at it on the internet. Just type in blue flowers, florizel. You'll see the project that I worked on with my, uh, with my uh, electronics teacher, uh, Federico Moelos, who's from Spain. He, uh, he's a good guy. I learned a lot from him about electronics. I was going to make my own digital camera. I was going to make a digital camera from scratch. I didn't end up doing it, but I read a book about it. I could have done instructables.com. That's a good one, right? Well, anyways, that's one of the details as well. I have uh, the pixels behind him. He's showing his hand. He's like, he's like um, saying stuff about it. And uh, what else? Um, he's holding. Uh, the ground and the and the and the whatever different electronic wires or whatever in his hand. Below him, we have Milo, amazing rapper, but I'm better than him. He goes by the name Rap Ferreria or whatever now. I went to go see his concert like four times. The reason why I say I'm better than him, this is why. Trust me, I wouldn't say it, but this is why. Because when I went to go see his concert, after the time of the whole like Corona bullshit, they wouldn't let me in to the concert. Why? Because I didn't get the vax. Oh. So what? Anyway, so this is what happened. This is what happened. So I was standing there, right? And I was like, I got, I already bought the ticket for the show. I already bought it. They wouldn't let me in. They said, no, unless you get the vax, you can't get in. I said, I don't need no membership. I already have a heart. Now, the only reason why I say this is because the only reason why I say this is because well Milo when I seen him I said Milo so good to see you I put my hand on his shoulder guess what he did I don't really know you I don't really know you I'm just like a regular guy or something like that I was like well yeah but I love your lyrics that's why I wanted to give him a shoulder hug with my hand. But he got shy. And then his homies were all like, don't talk to him. He doesn't know you. <laughs> That's why I say I'm a better rapper than him. Because I would never do that. I would never do that. If someone, if someone came up to me and was like, I like your art, I'd be like, thank you. I wouldn't be like... I don't know you. That's stupid. Real stupid. Don't act like that. Anyways, whatever. That's just another detail. Alright, the last detail we're going to talk about on this, even though there's a lot more on here. A lot more. There's a lot more. But the last one we're going to talk about for this time and area is about... Josie Ochoa. 
Josie Ochoa, the Instagram beauty. Well, Josie Ochoa just happens to be friends with Justin Bieber. She's also friends with um, that artist, uh, what's his name? Um, Iris or something? No, not Iris. I can't remember his name right now, but anyways, there's this, there's this one mural artist that paints on humongous buildings all over the world. She has some paintings of his in her room and she posted it on her Instagram. She has it in her music video that she did with Justin Bieber. Um, but anyways, um, I'm not personal friends with her. Like, I, like I've actually met her, but she loves my art. She loves the art I did of her. I painted her a few times. Yeah, she she likes the art I did of her. I remember the first time I posted something about her. She uh, she sent me a message. She's like, "That's amazing. I love that." And I was like, "Oh, thank you." Then what ended up happening was I did a mural of her, or I mean, I did a mural in um in my apartment in Brooklyn, New York when that corona fake was going on and uh, I painted uh, my, all, my, throughout my whole APT in uh, Weeksville, Brooklyn, New York and uh, I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a portrait of Josie Ochoa in here as well. I did one other portrait of her in my, in my apartment in, uh, in Denver, Colorado at the at the at the four four walls four walls um four walls apt that that they try to have, make me pay eight thousand dollars to paint over my art and i refused because it's museum quality i almost got my art in guggenheim museum almost maybe i'll wait till i'm 80 years old to get it there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> FK, FK. Yeah. All right, that's it for this part. That part. That part. That golden house part. Uh, I have uh, 21 um, uh, what was it again 21 something um, where was it again I wrote it here 81 21 oh yeah 2021 I have 2021 and change, I think. Guess what that means? That means I'm beyond the 2020 vision. And I got so... Ugh.